Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different laptop and in today's laptop we have an HP Pavilion DV6000 and this are uh, old laptop but you can still revive them make them go a whole lot more faster and by upgrading the RAM uh, I have made a video how to upgrade the RAM and in this video we're gonna show you got a major up upgrade it's to remove the mechanical hard drive that they have in here to a solid state hard drive the solid state hard drives are much much faster than than regular uh, mechanical drives and I'll leave the link in the description for every tool I use and to a few solid state drives that you can use to upgrade your laptop. So tool number one, you need a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set. These are really, really nice tool set. And they will last you way a long time than the other brand. They have all the bits you need for any cell phone or laptops. You're going to be using bit Phillips number zero. And next, you need a, your solid state drive, and you will need an extra USB stick and 8 gig USB stick. Because as when we replace the solid state drive and you turn it on, it will not have any operating system installed. So, what you need to do, follow inside my description link and go to Windows website, and you will download a Windows Media uh, Creator. And it will automatically download the Windows image into your USB drive and you will plug it in after you upgrade and you press F escape once you turn it on and then you press F9 to choose the boot menu and you will choose your USB drive and you follow simple instructions and you will have your Windows installed within 25 minutes. All right. Now, what we want to do down here, we want to remove this side service cover that they have a little platter sign right beside it so go ahead and loosen up these two screws these two screws they have a c lock on them so it will not actually come out so you just have to spin it until it does a click you see that click to unboot now you want to go ahead and lift it up loosen it up while you're lifting and there now you want to lift up a little harder and there's those the C lock that I call them. They're right there. These are to preventing the screws coming out and getting lost. Now down here, you want to grab this uh, plastic handle right here, and you want to pull it towards the ceiling, real hard. And the hard drive will come out with a caddy. You will need uh, to remove the adapter and the caddy to the new hard drive. So we're going to start removing these two screws on this side and the two screws on the other side. So go ahead and remove the screws. The screws are all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. All right, once you remove the screws, you want to lift it up, put it in a position that you know you won't mix, make a mistake and lift it up. Now there's your hard drive. Now we're going to put your finger right on the adapter at the back and you want to Pull this adapter real hard evenly out. There we go. Now if you pay attention, it was on this way. So your new drive must be on the same position as the other one. So grab the new one, your SSD drive. And there is only one way you can plug in the adapter. You can't put it the other way around. It will not go through. So flip it over, align the con contacts, and then push it towards the hard drive. Now you want to place the SSD drive right in the caddy all the way down and place the four screws that you removed. All right now that we have the screws right there what you want to do you want to flip it over you want to put this end down first underneath the cover right there there's a little space there you want to insert that one in 45 degree angle and then you want to bring it over and then you want to just squeeze it towards the motherboard and then the contact is going to get aligned right there you might see a little bit of gap there that's fine don't worry about it now what you want to do you want to grab the 
you can actually rip this apart you don't need it as long as you have this one here this black cover right here is to prevent the when you look down you don't see the hard drive you only see this black color so place down the back when you want to put it down don't put it all the way down and push it down there are this kind of clips right here they have to slide down so put it in an offset position and then slide it backward and then screw tight down the screws and there we have it and i hope this video helped you guys out and it was helpful if it did help you guys out please click that thumbs up button and if you have any questions or requests you know where to leave them and i'll appreciate it if you guys subscribe it really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys and again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video